The brain. For most of us, the vibrations of sound waves are relayed to the brain through the ear, which converts them to neural signals. As the sound hits the eardrum and it wiggles in and out, it sets up pressure waves inside a snail-like structure called the cochlea. The cochlea has hair cells lining it that are tuned to specific frequencies. So at one end, the hair cells only fire an electrical charge in response to low frequencies. At the other end, they fire an electrical charge in response to high frequencies, and of course, everything in between. So the signal goes from the ear to the brain stem and up into the brain. And that electrical charge goes to the auditory cortex, which is amazingly laid out in pitch order, almost like a piano keyboard. The hair cells are wired to the auditory cortex in such a way that you've got low notes stimulating this part of the auditory cortex on up to high notes stimulating this part. We used to think that there was a music center in the brain. We don't think that anymore. There are music centers and they're spread all over the brain. The auditory cortex activates as it receives signals from the brainstem through the inferior colliculus and the medial geniculate nucleus. If you could look at all the different areas of the brain involved in extracting the signal from sound to turn it into music, you'd see a bunch of coordinated and a bunch of uncoordinated firing in different parts of the brain, kind of like a neural symphony, a neural orchestra. So pitch is processed in one set of neural regions, tempo in another, loudness in another, timbre, whether it's a violin or a trumpet or a human voice in yet another, and it all comes together later. The later in this case is maybe 30 thousandths of a second, so rapidly that you never knew the things were ever apart. 